I, uh, I have to admit that she did well, but do so under my breath. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right. Well, once uh, Serenity uh, conjures her steed, you guys can continue on. And uh, the Mardikovs thank you for protecting them and, and are very impressed that the wolves never even got to the wagon. Well done. No problems, good sirs. Can I take a uh, short rest? <laughs> but we're in a cold. We can take one once we get there. Oh, fine. You could um, you could ride in in the wagon, and as long as you're not molested for an hour, it could be a short rest. I will try to avoid being molested. Or actually, um, you guys are just walking. I mean, that's not. I don't know. I don't know if that's too strenuous to be a short rest or not. But definitely, I, if you ride in the wagon, I'll, I'll just chill out in the wagon. All right. Yeah, I'll sort of lie there, meditate slightly. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know who's walking. I'm not walking. <laughs> I'm not walking. I don't walk. The horses. The horses are walking. <laughs> well, I don't think... Does anybody else have a horse? I think the so wagon does, I assume. <laughs> We're not the other two are in the wagon. I'm on a horse. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, but I mean, you guys don't have any horses. There's just the horses oh. on the wagon, right? No, yeah. we yep. used to have a horse. Yeah, yeah. Serenity used to have a real horse. She also yep. used to have a, a maid. I, I forgot yeah. that in the recap that Fiona got was, killed last time. Ripped to shreds? <laughs> yeah. Was that last time? or was, I feel like that was two sessions ago. No, that was last session. Wow. It's been yeah. a long time. We haven't done anything since the fight was Strahd. Wow. Yeah. All right. Um, so yeah, uh, um, you guys travel another hour, so you can roll your hit dice, Craig. All right. Yeah, I get my blade songs back. <laughs> so do you just roll one die? And- you can roll <laughs> however many you want, but you're, you know, you if you're you're what six level, so you have six of them total. Right. All right, well, I used that one. That got me eight hit points. And I will attempt. There we are. And that gives me eight hit points back. Feeling better. Okay. All right. I'm seeing what uh, what they say about... What a uh, short rest... Yeah, nothing more strenuous than eating, drinking, reading, and tending to wounds. So I would say that walking um, would, is would, more strenuous. Yeah, as would be riding a horse, I think. Um, but sitting in a wagon, I think you'd be okay. If you want, I could read while sitting in the wagon. Oh, <laughs> well, then you're going to get sick. <laughs> <laughs> is, yeah, is puking off the side of a wagon more strenuous? Uh, yeah, that probably you're not getting rest at that point. <laughs> okay, <laughs> very good. So where are we at this point? Are we? Uh, you guys would, yeah, probably in that area somewhere. You're over halfway back near the what is that? The haunted mansion. Yeah. Did we mansion. go to the haunted mansion? No, you've just been told about it. You haven't checked it out yet. Yeah. All right. If I know anything, <laughs> let's not go to the haunted mansion. <laughs> Until we have a full party. Yeah. All right. So we continue along our way to uh, blocking. I do non strenuous things. All right. Um, you guys see uh, through the mist at this point, uh, you see a skeletal war horse with a skeletal like knight riding it. it looks like uh, a skeleton wearing armor, like a uh, chainmail armor, riding the skeletal war horse. And you see that the, the rider is holding this lantern that isn't making any light. 
I yell out, friend or foe, and then I chuckle, and then I get my sword ready. <laughs> what kind, is he wearing any kind of identifying marks to say, like, he's part of Strahd's group or a symbol from Valaki or anything else like that? Uh, make a perception roll. He's he's a little far away. It's kind of misty, rainy. Uh, nineteen. Yeah. Um, you you don't see any really identifying marks. Um, he doesn't seem to be wearing like a uniform or anything like that. Um, okay. You'd guess yes. from kind of his equipment and whatnot. He seems almost like an adventurer, like you guys, or he was. Okay. Is he just standing on the road? Well, he's riding. Um, we'll say that you guys are at this crossroads here. Mm-hmm. And he's, you guys are like going through the crossroads and he's like riding on the other road, kind of heading your way. But he's just riding along. And I mean, if you guys just keep going, like you're not going to cross paths with him because you'll be long gone by the time he gets to the crossroads. But you see him in the distance. The skeleton so is he right coming there. from that road? Yeah. From the haunted okay. mansion, maybe. Okay. Well, I don't want to deal with the haunted mansion right now, and scary <laughs> skeletal adventurers are also low on my list of things to deal with. Right now, I want to nap. So yeah, I, I, I say we keep going the way we are, and if he attacks us, he attacks us. If not, we'll bid him adieu. We'll uh, see you again. Adrian, one of the the guys uh, in the wagon, tells you guys that um, it's not uncommon to see apparitions like this in in this area, and um, there there are different uh, beliefs that people have about who these these undead writers are, but Adrian thinks that um, it's someone who like an adventurer like yourselves that Strahd lured into Barovia and they tried to escape by riding into the mists. And this is just one of the horrible fates that can befall you if you ride into the mists as you come back as an undead, forever trapped in this land. Barovia really sucks. <laughs> it does. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Always muggy. Shadow. I mean, not Shadowrun. Shadow of the Demon Horde. <laughs> we would be like five characters in. <laughs> yeah, we haven't had anybody die yet. Except NPCs. Yeah. Look at us go. Alright, so so you guys are just gonna continue on and, and leave this this chap to his fate. Whatever that may be. Yeah, he's all right. doing all right for himself. He's got a lantern. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm proud of him. All right, so so you guys reach Velaki not not long after that, and um, you guys have made pretty pretty good time. It's probably not even noon yet, um, so you still have a lot of day left, and uh, you can see the walls of the town in the distance, and. Uh, Adrian tells you, you know, that if, if you guys have business, because you've probably mentioned going to the windmill, that, um, you know, they should they should be fine now if you want to continue on about about what you're doing. Well, I'm getting lunch first. Yeah, might as well take a short rest. OK, so you guys are going to head into town and maybe go to the end and get something to eat. Well, before we yeah, head yeah. to the end, to eat, I'm going to. Go by the blacksmith. Okay. And I'm going Let's to buy see. some breastplate. We might have some cash for you for that if you need, I suppose. Uh, I think I'm okay right now. I, I have some uh, loan of money. That... All right. I have about 800 gold or something. To yeah, I have... Uh, Five fifteen. Okay. No. So you guys get to the to the gate, and um, you're you're able to get in without much trouble um, because uh, 
well, some of you have, have been here before and they recognize you and, and then the Mardikovs are well known. And in fact, the guards are, are quite um, excited to see the long awaited wine shipment arriving. And there are many jokes made about, you know, party at the at the Blue Water Inn tonight um, once everybody's off duty. And uh, you guys get into town and I'm looking because I'm pretty sure I came up with a blacksmith. I'm trying to find where I wrote down what his name was. You did. He was very expensive. Radovan. There he is. He is, uh, yeah, blacksmith, weaponsmith, armorsmith. He does it all. And, yeah, it's a little expensive in Barovia. I think this place is a little bit better than the village of Barovia. Let me find where it says what it costs. I should have known you guys would want to go shopping. <laughs> We're just perusing. Uh, all right, so Kyle wants to, to go buy some armor. Um, does anybody else have anything they want to do while you're in town? Um, no. Not really. All right, so Kyle, you're looking for a breastplate? Yeah. Well, you are in luck. He does have a breastplate. Um, he tells you, you know, he doesn't usually make armor. You know, there's not a lot of... Uh, business for that but he has uh he has this breastplate that he made uh for a merchant's guard some time ago and then the guy never never bought it um well i'll happily take it off your hands for you yeah so he said um you know or i tell you what make a uh what, what would be a good role for that what is a Charisma? good? Yeah, uh, let's see if there's a skill that would apply. Charisma, persuasion, maybe. Okay. To yeah, see, persuasion uh, makes sense. See, see how much he likes you. He'll give you a deal or not. A five. <laughs> I'm a dirty Vistani. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. You're a Vistani. Oh, I totally forgot about that. Um, yeah, so so actually, <laughs> um, Kyle, your character, you actually got um, quite a bit of harassment from the guards. Um, they seem to be inclined not to even let you into the town. But um, I have the wine. The, yeah, there was some arguing. And, and finally, Adrian Martikov was like, you know, if you don't let him in, then you're not going to get your wine and that kind of settled it but but they weren't super happy about it and I and i showed some leg yeah <laughs> yeah well that i'm sure that helped but yeah this guy <laughs> is uh yeah he's not a fan of the vistani and he kind of seems to spit on the ground a lot when you're around how about this friend you okay. give me the armor and i give you a fair amount of gold for it or I will absolutely fuck your shit up. <laughs> Intimidation. <laughs> See, that sounds like about a five persuasion. I, I think that's a good role play. Yeah. He, he says, uh, "He says, I tell you what. Normally, I don't sell to scum like you, but this has been gathering dust for a while. So I'll I'll give it to you for two thousand gold. Uh, how about this?" I don't make you go blind, deaf, and I get the armor, and I will pay a fair price for it. Well, that is a fair price. A fair. How much would you give for your eyesight and your hearing? Oh well, those are priceless, of course. You can't and, put a uh, price on something like that. Consider that my. Uh, consider that my. Uh, my. My payment to you. Are you threatening you, me, sir? I can have I the guards here in a minute. Yeah, bring them. In the, They'll put you where happens. you belong. Uh, upon hearing kind of in a the stockade happening inside, can uh, can I jump into the blacksmith and try to rescue our good friend? Sure, sure. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna pop in and um, what's the blacksmith's name? Radovan. Jump in! I'm like Radovan, my good man. Oh yes, remember? I remember you. You yes. didn't like my prices either. 
They, we were not accustomed to your uh, your particular trade uh, methodology here, and I assume that is all that is happening uh, with my uh, my friend here, Giovanni, who uh, has saved us along the path in order to bring you uh, bring the town of Velaki its wine. This you creature see, is your friend. You freely admit I this. I I didn't expect it to happen either. How would you like to lose your I, clothes also? As soon as I saw him, I spat at him. But he has proven himself. As you out. should, and he spits on the floor yeah. again. Exactly, yeah. At this point, I'm going to uh, no, no, give no, him no, a stony curse. Oh! Um, I'm not going to speak my tongue. And I'm going to blind him, deafen him, and make him mute. <laughs> I don't think you can do all of them at once. <laughs> uh, it says I can do both. <sighs> the Stani curse. Yeah, but I'm going to take 5d6 <laughs> damage. <laughs> um, so you're trying to blind him and deafen him? I would like to make a mute too. But if that doesn't happen, that doesn't happen. Oh, I see it. Yeah, blinded, deafened, or both. Um, yeah, you can't make him mute, but you can't blind and deafen him. Well, you take the damage when the curse ends. Yeah, that's fine. Um, you don't take it now. Um, how long does it last? I start to walk in there to barter, and then I see this, and I walk right back out. <laughs> oh, it oh. takes magic to end it. <laughs> Alright, um, so he gets a saving throw. Uh... What is your charisma bonus, Kyle? Plus one. So his difficulty is eight, nine, and your proficiency bonus is three, right? So 12. Yeah. Um, let's see. I think it's 13. He failed. Oh, thank God. So, so yeah, you, ma you make your, like, evil signs or whatever, and... Uh, what do you say? Like, what's the verbal part of, like, how do you curse him exactly? It, it honestly just sounds mumbling under my breath. And in fact, my hands were in my pockets all the time. And all I did was just mumble under my breath and give him an evil squint eye. All right. So, so you do this and he's suddenly like, and he starts talking really loud because he can't hear himself. He's like basically yelling and he's like, I can't see. I can't, I can't hear! The bloody Vistani cursed me! Guards, guards, he cursed me! We're gonna tackle him. Hang I'm him! On, can I clunk him on the back of the head? Uh, you can try. I just want to knock him out. Um, you have advantage, because he's blind. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, just with the butt of my sword, just bonk right in the back of the head. Um... With advantage, you say? Yeah. All right. Well, that's 11, uh, 19. Yeah, you, you hit him. All right. And this is a, definitely a sneak attack. <laughs> <laughs> Non-lethal sneak attack. Nice. So that does uh, 11 points of damage. All right. Yeah, you, you knock him out cold. All right. So you I'm going to knock him out cold. Scream. Before he falls to the ground, I'm going to uh, grab him around the shoulders and put him on the uh, behind the counter. There's like a stool, and I'm going to put him on the count uh, on the stool so he's sitting there while having my arm under him. And I'm okay. going to try to weekend at Bernie's my way through this if the guards show up. <laughs> okay, that's my goal. <laughs> All right, uh, Serenity, are you, are you there too, or did you go to the inn? I am. Or did outside, you do something else? But You're outside? I'm outside just waiting for him, but... Okay. Is, is there far like, enough away to where I look like I'm not part of the group if the guards show up? <laughs> I don't is know these like guys. Is there a large hat or, like, I don't know if you do welding goggles when you're blacksmithing, but is there something that would cover his eyes? I have a large fur hat on. All right, I take the large fur hat, put it on him, so it's just, like, it's right in, pretty much covering his eyes, but... Uh, you know, so he looks there and he's all, yeah, and I'm trying to prop him up with one arm, um, and just waiting to see if the guards show so up. So you put him on a stool? 
He, he's yeah, not going to sit on a stool. He's unconscious. I, I, but I'm right beside him. Oh, like, so you're like, like holding him up? Him. I'm holding yeah. him up with my one arm, and like the goal is to weaken at Bernie's this. So oh, like, so you got like your arm up the back of his shirt with your <laughs> fist full of his hair. Shirt, like, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to uh, count out 250 pieces of gold. Okay. Uh, put, put it on the counter and uh, put on the breastplate. <laughs> okay. So, all right. Um, let's see. All right. Um, so no, no guards come. However, um, the the breastplate does not um, fit you perfectly. So um, you're gonna have to have someone that knows like armor smithing to like fit it to you better. <laughs> oh, well, then I get uh, since it doesn't even fit. Why pay for it? So I take my gold back and I take the um, armor and I leave under under my arm. All right. All right. Um, when the guards, after a few minutes of waiting for the guards to show up and he doesn't, I just let him fall to the floor um, in a heap. Uh, and then I search around to see if I can find his, uh, his purse, cash register, wherever he keeps his cash. Oh, my God. Uh, yeah, yeah. Like, let's rob him. He he has a, a coin purse on him. Awesome. With uh, um, some money in it. I, uh, I I take his coin purse, all okay. the cash that's in it, and okay. uh, like well, I take the cash that's in it, and I'm gonna write a note. Um, <laughs> I owe you. <laughs> um, but just. Uh, says, uh, this is what happens when you mess with the agents of Strahd. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Okay, okay cool. <laughs> Shift blame. Shift blame. That's the goal now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm so, just writing this down. <laughs> you've gone from heroes of Malaki to uh, agents of Strahd and the villains quite quickly. You know, if Strahd offered me a better price, I think I would take it. Uh, pretty much anybody would offer you a better price than that. 2,000 gold for an ill-fitting breastplate? No, well, he would I have mean, fitted it to you if you would have bought I, it. I mean, it like, <laughs> yeah, that's what I was going to say. He would have fit it. <laughs> I think, like, I'm just saying, I think Strahd could theoretically buy me out. Oh, okay. Good to note. Um, all right, let's see how much money he had. <laughs> Probably not I thought much. Serenity was the most evil of the group. Shit. <laughs> well, I mean, my people, you know, serve them. So. I oh yeah, Serenity. Them. You offer her power and uh, not really wealth, but you offer her power, she'll take it. So. <laughs> uh, he had twenty-two copper pieces. How the hell does he? <laughs> okay, there has to be more money than this kicking around. Maybe that's what he had on yeah. him. All right, I'm ransacking the joint. Okay, <laughs> make a uh, stealing. I'm stealing. <laughs> make, make an intelligence investigation roll. All right. See if you can find his lockbox. <laughs> I can pick locks, by the way. So. So can I. I have uh, advantage in thief. I have these tools with because uh, I'm a one point in rogue. So. See what happens oh. when John isn't here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, when John's away. Not the rogues John and away. Nathan, because both their characters are the conscience of the group. <laughs> wow. Uh, I rolled an 18. Okay. Uh, minus one gets me 17. Okay. Um, yeah, you find uh, you find a loose floorboard, and underneath it, it a little hole's been dug out of the ground, and you find a, a wooden box with uh, with some more money in it. Let's see. Uh, Let's see what you find. <laughs> I'm just going to see theoretically how much damage this could be to me. Yeah, that's a lot of damage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that and could you know, hurt. It's, it's going to trigger at a real bad moment, by the way. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, I'm ready for it. <laughs> um, by, uh, on, on a completely unrelated note, we should leave town. Yeah. <laughs> so. Well, how do they know 
it's us. The agent's a straw did it. Yeah, but he recognized me, so, like... <laughs> yeah, you're screwed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because you, you, you might gone well there just, before, you might right? well just kill him. Yeah, yeah no, this is, this is not going to turn out well. <laughs> if I had a gold coin for every town that I have enemies in, I wouldn't need to make any more enemies. <laughs> Yeah, um, I would have one gold coin. <laughs> and it's recent. <laughs> so. <laughs> Might as well just kill him. No. No, because I'm not going to murder him. I have, I have morals. I'm not evil. Yeah, I would consider that. Now, he tried to rip us off, and he has been unscrupulous in his business practices for many a year, and was also a bigot and a racist. He spat at, he spat at me right. twice and insulted my, uh, yeah. my people. The All right. Was funny. So what are you saying? You're part of the Better Business Bureau? Well, I'm better than him. I call it the Corporation <laughs> Commission. Yeah. I'm, so I'm in, taking... in the strong box, well, it's not really strong box, it's just a box, you find... 200 copper, 100 silver, 80 electrum, and 50 gold. Hey, a little bit. Hey, so, hey Naven, we split it 50 50 and we don't tell Serenity about it. <laughs> oh, well, yeah. Just to give it. At this Obviously. Point. <laughs> In fact, well, the 50 50 part is the only thing that I have a somewhat question. You guys aren't murder hobos, you're robber hobos. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> Well, we also ask to stay. Yeah, no, we 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 earn our keep wherever we stay. In a manner of speaking, um, how much? So that was 200, 200 copper. Yeah, it, I put it in the chat on roll twenty. Oh, I thought we were okay. Perfect. Uh, all right. All right. So, so you you've knocked this guy out. You you took his all his money. You took his yeah. breastplate. <laughs> yeah. No, I left him twenty two copper in his purse. So that wasn't worth my time. <laughs> okay. And a note that says that the agents of Strahd will, uh, you know, basically saying that this is don't mess with Strahd. Plus, you took his eyes, and he took his hearing. <laughs> yeah, no, he's, he's I, definitely worse off. <laughs> I, I told him I would do that. I, I I didn't realize. I thought you were just bluffing, or you were planning on stabbing him in the eyeballs. So <laughs> I really thought it was just a bluff. <laughs> uh, now Craig, we know. Craig, make me an intelligence roll for your character. Uh, I'm not very good at that. <laughs> I came in to try to save him. I'm obviously not very good at this. <laughs> <laughs> Ten. Okay. Um, how how convincing are you trying to make this note? Because I will remind you that you actually have in your possession, or the party does, a, a letter written by Strahd. Oh. Are you trying to mimic his handwriting, or are you just writing the note? I was just writing the note. Okay. I'm supposed. Uh, this isn't supposed to be like a letter from Strahd, but like a letter from an agent of Strahd. Oh, I gotcha. Okay. Yeah, like this is what happens when you mess with the agents of Strahd. Gotcha. And uh, yeah, no, it's not supposed to be from him exactly. Just a maybe. probably not really Strahd style either, from what you know of the man. You know, <laughs> petty randomly cast. robbing and blinding, yeah. <laughs> starving. Blacksmiths, yeah. <laughs> like he's I evil, say, but he's not that bad. <laughs> I, I say, guys, let's take this uh, campaign off the rails. We are now <laughs> the agents of Strahd. Yes. Let's go swear our allegiance and just let John and everyone else, uh, John and Nathan, kind of just fucking deal with it when they come back. Yeah, this is what happens when you miss a, when you miss a <laughs> second. <laughs> 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 All right, um, so I'm gonna leave the uh, leave the place. Can I lock the door behind me? Uh, no, not really. Not from the outside. Even if I use my lockpick or like thieves' tools to try to pick 
reverse pick a lock? You can do um, that. Yeah, okay, sure. <laughs> All right, uh, 15. Okay, yeah, you, you lock the door from the outside. All right, and I take uh, I'll take another note that just and write closed on the. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, interesting. So, so there's my there's our plan. Um, it's not, not a good one, but I think this might buy us at least an hour to get out of town. That's my goal. So, uh, Serenity, are you just outside the door? Uh, outside and on the other side of the street. <laughs> so um, I'm just I turned to Giovanni and I'm like play it cool stroll with it Super. we'll just sort of casually walk out um, okay. of the place I, uh, I, I David, tell, have you ever done this before? Uh, this no. is just Tuesday before me no no this is, a, this is a new experience but you know it's not great maybe next time less with the <laughs> voodoo shit like none of that. So seeing them put the note on the door saying closed I'm pretty much assuming that they killed the blacksmith <laughs> especially with how trying out of their way to be nonchalant that they are even though they're giving, giving it away that they just did something <laughs> but remember Naaman if you ever see me give the evil eye watch yourself yeah right yeah yeah, no, if you try to do that, I will stab you in the eye. That doesn't mean the eye doesn't work. No, but we'll do an eye for an eye. Let's just, and yours, I think yours will go all the way eventually. Mine won't. <laughs> you and Our, I, we were good up until this moment. This moment made it, it it's a little testing time. <laughs> uh, I bet you on the back. Yeah, all right. So uh, we'll walk over and, uh, okay, Serenity, um, I think I might have bought us about 45 minutes before all hell breaks loose in this town. We should try to get a, uh, a feathery guide and then GTFO, just out of town. <laughs> not dead, though. May wish he was, but not dead. <laughs> So you're saying you just beat him up? Uh, and blind and, and deaf and, and robbed. I never touched the man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he does curse things. Did you know that? Did you know that Vistani do weird, cursy things? I did not. They do. That's kind of creepy. It's not great. Um, but, you know, we could maybe use it later on against something that isn't... Uh, Slightly unscrupulous blacksmith. <laughs> <laughs> is it, is it just somebody me. making a living? Yeah. Like, oh. like, I, I didn't agree with his pricing structure, but you know, that was a little extreme. Anyways, we made some money and we got him a breastplate, and um, we can't come back to this town again. So, <laughs> but there's so much stuff we have to do in this town. Yeah, um, it's not great. Uh, oh, ooh, I can do that. Um, and then at that moment, I will cast uh, Disguise Self on myself because uh, okay. I can do this. And I want to look like the blacksmith. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to try to take the disguise of the blacksmith so that um, that'll cast even further suspicion. It's closed and he's wandering around town. Obviously, everything's okay at the blacksmith's house. Hey, blacksmith, I say with a wink. I have an idea. Um, um, I, your ideas have not been batting a thousand today, sir. Well, <laughs> I, I start chuckling heartily, and I go in for a full hug on you. So, so it looks like we're friends. I, uh, <laughs> understanding that this would not be in the character, uh, push you away and, uh, and just scowl at you before marching on across towards the, uh, the blue water in? Uh, I blow you a kiss. <laughs> At this point, while they're doing that, I have already walked away from them. 
I do not blame you. 